Hey everybody, it's Joe from the Anime Movie Podcast coming to you solo today because I wanted to discuss one of our favorite anime film directors, Satoshi Kon. Kon is known for having some of the most thrilling and gripping and visually stimulating anime films of all time. He is highly regarded as a pioneer in the genre, and you can see his influence on several directors, not just anime directors. So today, I'll be going through his films and ranking them from top to bottom. Thanks for coming to watch the video, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Coming in at number 5, I'll place his Christmas movie, Tokyo Godfathers. Now, there isn't anything inherently wrong with Tokyo Godfathers. It's a good movie, but when stacked up against the rest of his catalog, it really sticks out like a sore thumb. The tone of this movie is quite different from the rest of his films, and it doesn't really play with his usual mind-bending, reality-altering style. It follows a cast of three homeless people who have just found a baby and are searching for its parents. This adventure takes them down many different paths and leads them to a lot of self-discovery. It's a heartwarming film in its own right, but Tokyo Godfather kind of seems like a bit of the black sheep of the Khan film family. At number four, I have Millennium Actress. Millennium Actress tells the story of an aging actress who has left the movie business after a stellar career. A documentarian wants to know what she's been up to all these years since leaving the silver screen, and we are treated to a tour through cinema history and a love story unlike any other found in a Khan film. With expertly blended visuals that leave you questioning what you see at every moment, this is perhaps Khan's most heartfelt film and shows that he knew a thing or two about Japanese cinema. At number three, I have Paprika. Paprika is actually the first Satoshi Kon movie I ever saw, and boy, was I taken aback. This movie dives into the concept of dreams being used as weapons, and the trippy dream sequences do not disappoint. Some people say Christopher Nolan owes a lot of his success to Satoshi Kon since Paprika predates his film, Inception, by quite a few years. While both deal with the concept of dreams and using them against people, Kon's movie is quite a bit brighter and more visually trippy than Nolan's. And that's saying something, considering Inception includes entire cities being turned upside down. At number two is one of the most influential anime films ever, Perfect Blue. You can see Perfect Blue's influence all over the place. Director Darren Aronofsky straight up bought a scene from the movie to be included in Requiem for a Dream, and many people liken his film Black Swan to Perfect Blue. Without a doubt, Perfect Blue is one of the best anime films ever made and keeps audiences at the edges of their seats. This movie explores the life of a pop star who is attempting to transition into an acting career, and the stalker who haunts her dreams and her real life. If you're a fan of thrillers with twists that you may have never seen coming, definitely check out Perfect Blue. Finally, at number one, I have to go with Khan's short film Magnetic Rose from the Memories Anthology. Now, some people may call this a cop-out since it's a short film and since Khan didn't actually direct it, he just wrote the screenplay, but this short film is undoubtedly a Khan film. You can just tell by the way it makes you question your reality and visuals that keep you guessing what's happening. This short film is fantastic. It follows the crew of a deep space salvage freighter that gets a distress signal from a nearby ship. Once they arrive, things aren't all that they seem. Artificial intelligence keeps the crew confused and seeing things that may or may not be there. It's just so good. If you have a way to get your hands on a copy of the Memories Anthology, it's definitely worth the price just for this film alone, and it's what I consider to be Khan's best work. And there you have it, all of Khan's films ranked. Thanks for checking out the video, and again, if you could please like this video and subscribe to the channel, that would be awesome. We post anime reviews and content like this every week, multiple times per week, and it's stuff that any anime fan can enjoy. So, until next time, see ya!